Um, in this video, we're going to talk about how to make, um, how to do volume lashes faster. So volume, as you can, as you can, as you guys probably know, is um, takes a long time. It can take up to three hours, uh, sometimes even longer if you're a beginner. So I'm going to give you guys some techniques and show you guys how you can um, save, shave off a little bit of time in order to um, ensure that you can see more clients, in order to um, not compromise the quality that you're giving to your client, but also at the same time, shorten the time of application. Um, okay, so tip number one. The first tip I can give you guys is to make sure that you have a good, fast adhesive. So normally, um, you need to have an adhesive that is at least one second, if not 0 0.5 seconds. So the reason for this is if you actually have an adhesive that is too slow, it will slow you down tremendously. Um, a lot of beginner, or not beginner lash artists, but a lot, some lash artists tend to continue using a two second glue even after they, um, their timing has dramatically improved just because um, that's what they were comfortable with. So um, normally after you've been a lash artist for at least six months, if you're seeing a decent number of clients a week, um, your timing should improve dramatically and if you're doing volume you should really switch to a 0 0.5 second to 1 second glue. Um, the best one I would recommend that we have on our website is the Velour or the um, Ultra Crystal Clear Bond. Uh, that glue is amazing because you can actually, um, what's really good with it is um, good, it's good with, for clients that have sensitivities and um, it's good for uh, working with colored lashes. So for colored lashes, you always want to use a clear glue. But uh, the point is, if you use a glue that is too slow, your fans are going to close. And you're going to get frustrated because you're trying to apply that fan onto the lash and the fan is closing on you. It is taking forever to dry. You're just, you're just waiting like two seconds um, uh, for it to dry and it's just taking forever. So... Um, the first thing that you should do is really have a fast drying adhesive. Now, the next thing that you really want to ensure that you have is high quality tweezers. So um, for volume, you really need to have a good pair of tweezers that your hand is not getting too tired, that is not too, um, too, th too heavy on your uh, fingers and that allows you to work faster because if you have a tweezer that you're not comfortable with or that is just too heavy, you're gonna have hand fatigue and you're gonna get really um, frustrated throughout the set. So it's important to try out a few different tweezers. Um, my sister, who's a lash artist also, what she, she likes to do is she'll actually swap them out uh, throughout. So like she'll start with the L shape, then her, her um, once she gets a little bit tired or she's working through the inner corners, she'll switch to the curved dolphin tweezer and work the inner corners with it. Then um, midway through the set, she'll, she'll use um, the 90 degree tweezer. And so that's one thing that works for her. Um, you guys can try it, but you know, there's no need, you absolutely don't necessarily need to use a um, the same tweezer the, for the entire set, like uh, I'm, I'm talking about volume tweezer, not the isolation tweezer. So um, that's one thing that you need to keep in mind. Now, the other tip I can give you guys is to ensure that you use a um, glue aid. So the glue aid is actually going to help uh, with the issue that we spoke about earlier um, to make sure that your fans don't close. It's going to speed up your adhesive. And so if you're working with a fairly slow adhesive, this is a great um it's a great tip so you just basically need to apply the glue aid to the, the the strip of the lashes before you start working with them before you start making the fans and it's going to speed up the whole process it's going to make the lashes like very velvety and easier to work with so um that will help tremendously and then the other thing you could do is make sure that you're priming your client's lashes. So um, if your client's lashes are primed, they're going to be much easier to work with. And it's also going to help with your client's retention as well. Um, now the tip number four. So this is one of my favorite tips. Um, 
I think it's super important to have a hydrometer in your room because um, to be honest like you can get one on Amazon I think they're like ten dollars they're not that expensive but it's gonna make a big difference because um, as the temperature changes the weather changes your glue might start um, misbehaving and so um, the hydrometer is going to tell you exactly what the issue is it's going to tell you if the humidity is too high too low if your temperature is too high or too low and you're going to be able to adjust it if you don't have a hydrometer it's like um it's like um you know basically you're uh, finding a needle in the hay in the haystack like you don't know what to do like you're you're kind of just like blindly trying to figure out the problem the hydrometer is kind of like your reference point you're going to be able to see exactly where the issue is so i think that the hydrometer is extremely important to to help with the speed because uh if you if you happen to run into a problem you're going to be able to solve it fairly quickly rather than um not so um <clears throat> now the tip number five so the tip number five is actually going to be to ensure that you practice on a mannequin and a sponge so as you're beginning and uh, or you know you're not necessarily a beginner but you want to improve your speed and you don't have that many clients let's say you do see like i don't know five clients a week or i don't know five to ten clients a week if you really want to become faster the best thing to do is to practice the micro movements of the application the isolation um, and the fan making um, as at home without a client so you can do this on a sponge you can do this on a mannequin uh, and it, it that helps greatly like if you if you take a few months and you actually do this every day for like an hour or two um, it will make a huge difference in your um, speed and if you really um, are adamant about increasing your speed you, that's the way to do it if you don't have the actual clients so um, now the other thing we're going to talk about is easy fan lashes so the easy fan lashes are awesome because they actually fan out like a dream they're tapered at the base um, and so there it makes them much much easier for beginners because you basically just remove the fan and it's already made so um, they do get a little bit of criticism for um, the fact that the base is squared however um, there is a way to fix that and I'm going to show you guys how to do that now Okay guys, so as you guys can see, the easy fans do help out a lot. Um, so if you don't like the square bases on easy fans, what you could do is make sure you have one of those cups, glue cups with a slit, and then you just basically, after you dip it in the glue or before, you just pass the foot of the fan in it, and it's actually going to uh, make sure that it's not square anymore. It's gonna make it um, fine. Okay. So um, the other tip that I'm going to, oh, and if you guys want to get those easy fans, um, the link is going to be below for our website. Um, so be sure to go and check them out. So now um, the next tip I'm going to give you guys to work faster is use lash maps. Um, it's so important as a beginner, especially if you're not used to different curls that you're trying on different lengths or you're trying a different uh, style of a set like let's say you're trying to do a squirrel or a dolly or a cat eye or whatever that you're not familiar with uh, write down the curl write down the length because it's so much easier it takes out so much of the guesswork um, out of your um, out of your work especially like if you're getting lost or you're forgetting or you're thinking about so many things this helps out tremendously make sure you map it out and then the last and final tip I can give you guys, and it's probably my favorite, is going to be to use 
tape use tape use tape when you're working with inner corners use tape um, to isolate the lower lashes as you're working with them um, because it's going to help you visualize the lashes and you're going to spend so much less time looking for the correct lash to put the extensions on that it's actually going to make a huge difference in your timing so all of these tips that i gave you guys should at least shave off um about 20 to 45 minutes depending on how um, long your set is what kind of set it is but it, if you think about it if you're doing five clients a day um, it could definitely help you save at least two hours if not more um, and if you're doing more clients it can save um, per day it could help you save even more time and so that's uh, extra time for you, extra time to spend with your family or um, doing things uh, for yourself or even seeing more clients, whatever, whatever floats your boat. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and uh, if you have done, if you have enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up, let us know uh, what you think of it and if you have any questions, be sure to let us know as well and we will be sure to answer. Thank you so much for watching.